Good evening. Uh, if you're all going to stay the course, it's going to be a bit of a long evening because the opera itself is about three hours long, so I thought we'd start on time. Uh, it's a great pleasure to come here for this uh, first attempt, I think, at the India Habitat Center to have a screening of an opera film with an introductory talk. And uh, I'm really deeply honored to be here to present what I hope might be the first of such exercises, and I hope it gets even more popular as time goes by. I have a small suggestion to those of you who are sitting on the sides, in case you want to, you could shift to the center because I've discovered that the sound is better at the center. I've tried to choose an opera which is uh, available in the best possible resolution. It's a high definition Blu-ray and it's got surround sound, so hopefully we'll have a, an experience which will justify the wonderful new sound system and the projection system which has been installed at the Habitat Center. I'd like to commence with just a few seconds of music. to the magic flute, Die Zarge Flöte, in German, by Mozart. Why did I choose this opera for this first talk? Because while the history of opera goes back to about 1600, when the first opera was written in Italy, and opera remained more or less an Italian uh, prerogative, even though it spread internationally, it was performed all over Europe, uh, it was always performed in Italian until about the eight, seven, 18th century, almost late 17th, early 18th century, when French opera started with Lully in Paris, in, in the court of Versailles. German opera, which we now recognize with great composers such as Wagner, Weber, and so on and so forth, didn't really establish itself until Mozart. The first really successful German opera which spread all through the German territories, German-speaking territories, was actually an early opera by Mozart called the Entführung aus dem Serail, the abduction from the Seraglio. And the first German opera which crossed international boundaries and was performed internationally even in non-German-speaking countries, was in fact, truly speaking, the first really major milestone opera was this one, The Magic Flute. 